just by the grace of God, he happens to be the son of God. So you are also a son of God. We have been made co-heirs with Jesus Christ. So he happens, number one, to be a son of God. Number two, he happens to be my husband for the last 30, 30 years. years. Higher. Simu mpigia makofi. Number three, he also happens to be the great father of my children. Appreciate him. Number four, he happens to be a, gra a grandfather of two great grandsons. Appreciate him. And lastly, he happens to be your bishop and your friend and your pastor. Appreciate him as he brings God's word. Amen. God bless you. You may have your seats. Let's make some noise in the house as we appreciate this lady. I want to make a couple of statements. But before I do, Derito, are you in the house? Derito, can you stand? Derito works with me. He's the one who makes me my life easier here. Let's sing a song for him. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Anthony. Happy birthday to Let's save him how many years he is, but he's still single anyway, and he's a good man. You may get seated. God bless you. Kimani, please would you stand? This wonderful couple here, we married them last Sunday, a year ago. Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary to Let's appreciate them. <laughs> Hallelujah. Si mwambie jirani yako Mungu ni mwema. Hallelujah. we are looking at uh, Genesis 50 verse 20 and I'm going to finish today by the grace of God. Genesis 50 verse 20, uh, uh, Romans 8 and 28, the providence of God. We say that he upholds all things. He governs all events. He directs everything to its appointed end. He does this all the time and in every circumstance. And we also say he does it always for his own glory. We also say that um, it, the attributes of God are seen in the providence of God. That he is in control. Thank you for adding my sermon, making it more powerful. Thank you, Pastor. <laughs> he is in control because God is sovereign. He is in charge of everything and the way things turn out. He does the predestination. Wisdom, he makes no mistakes. Goodness, he's our best interest in heart. And we said, God does not play dice or karate on my life. I am blessed. So if you are sitting next to someone uh, who is not blessed, tell them you are. Tell them I am blessed. Actually, you should tell them, look at me, highly favored of God. Do, do, do you know some of us don't know how good we are until somebody tells us we are good. So tell, look at somebody, tell them, by the way, you look smart. Oh, you dressed very well. You are coming to church. Hallelujah. God, he is good. You know, God is in charge, and I love this. He's in charge of what happens, when it happens, how it happens, why it happens, and even what happens after it has happened. And I told you of this story of this young man that God deported. After God told him to go to Canada, God deported him. But God was still God. But that does not mean he never got worried. I asked myself many questions. But God is still God. And I know I'm talking to people whose life has had those happenings. And at times you felt bitter about God. But then you discovered that God was in control. Hallelujah. You know, all these things comes to give us prayer. And normally I say this. Atakama ulipata mtoto bila, you know, 
alafu ndugu akakuhepa maybe that time you felt bitter but today you look back and say i thank god i got a child for various reasons you know some of us maybe when you got children girls and then you know he said sasa wasichana nao and then after many years they are started now kukuletea kakitu wameanza kukubariki because some girls are better than boys no i'm, I'm, I'm just kidding I'm, I'm just kidding i'm just kidding i'm, I'm just saying do, do you know <laughs> so anyway whatever child, you know this reminds me when we got our first child and uh, I, I, I ran to buy some nappies. Thank God there were no diapers. So I'm running into town and I'm going to a, a, a small shop which was on Biashara. I don't know whether it is still there. Uh, yeah. So you remember Sunus? Yeah, Sunus. And, um, but, but as I dropped, I met a brother. So first, first of all, he asked me, Mwepata mtoto inagani? Kasama tumepata mtoto, nafikiria ni either ni kijana ama ni msichana. Are you hearing? I'm saying this because what I, I was praying for my wife as she went through the Caesarean. So I was out there praying. My concern was actually not for the child. I was praying for her because I had not seen the child. So my concern was my wife. So when my wife came out, these guys told me something. You know, the nurses and they said something. But what I got is a child. So I'm in town and somebody's asking, and I think, I think it should be one of them. Either <laughs> Then later on, I'm in town again and I meet someone. Now I know Nekairetu. Then I say Nekairetu. Then he tells me, eh, no more that come one. Then I wonder, what is the problem? I was just saying that to let you know that there is nothing that happens without God being in control. I told you I'll make two statements and then the choir here is going to, to help me sing. We'll allow Millicent to be the soloist and all of us to join in the choir when we sing through it all. As they organize, let me make this statement very quickly. A man lives by believing something. Not by doubting and arguing about many things. A man lives by believing something. Not by debating and arguing about many things. The next statement that I want to make is this. Faith understands that God intervenes in the natural causes of events. Faith understands that God intervenes in the natural causes of events. On the other hand, if the natural course of events should happen to answer prayer, that which many of us call coincidence, but now that you have understand it is not coincidence, it is God's providence, faith still believes God is there. Even whatever happens, Faith still believes that God is there. Through it all, through it all, through it all, I have learned to trust in Jesus. I have learned to trust in God. Lead me through. Questions for tomorrow. There were times I didn't know right from wrong. But in every situation, God gave me blessed consolation that all my trials only came to make me strong through it all through it all, through it all, through it all I have learned, learned to trust in Jesus I have learned to trust in God Oh 
seen so many faces There were times when I felt so all alone But in my lonely hours In those precious lonely hours Jesus let me know I was his own as we sit to listen to your word we pray that it will have an abode in our heart for this we ask in Jesus name and everybody say amen. amen give your neighbor high five as you sit down please tell them something good whisper something good to them hallelujah I told you of the story of this king who went uh, hunting with his servant and in the process the king got hurt and uh, he blamed the servant so much. But this servant used to say, Ni mapenzi ya mungu. It's, it's the will of God. So uh, when, you know when you tell someone and you are hurt, <laughs> it is the will of God. You know how they react. Eh? Uh, so the reaction was not good and he kicked the guy and he told him, Rudy, go back. They were hunting. So he continued hunting. Then he was arrested. He was caught up by Gedu, the people that eat others. So anyway, they went and prepared a wonderful meal. And when they were just about to eat him, so they opened up his clothes and they saw he was wounded. In their tradition, they cannot eat anyone or any animal that was wounded. So they released him. So when he met the guy, he, the guy, the guy still says, Ni mapenzi ya mungu. You know, so he's telling them why he got, he got uh, set free. It was the will of God. What a providence of God, even in that little story uh, there. Amen. Then I also gave you something that I think if you carry it along and you mix it with what I'm preaching, it will make a lot of sense to you. I gave you the story of this young man who had gotten married and they, he, he went to looking for a job. And instead of money, he was given three advices. One, uh, what was he told? 
shortcut because shortcut ndio inasumbua watu bwana shortcut wacha na dai shortcut iki pad iki geuka utaumia shortcut and then we said what unajua watu wengine ni curiosity ile ile huwa paka you know you are so curious ati ni wapi huku wapi kule yani you, you keep on running up and down and you know what utasumbuka bure curiosity and I showed you why it is and it saved him then finally i told you what anger 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 and some of us hasira ni ile kali ukikasirika kikombe kilicho karibu lazima kivunjike kwa sababu utakigongesha chini kwa sababu umeokoka yani so we say anger is not good because all these things at the end of it all you're going to see where god is involved bless the name of the lord and i started now winding up and finishing when i said the some implications of god's providence you know when it happens let's say for example you are a tither amen you are a tither and the preacher came from nigeria my brother oh. and then he told you if you bless the lord and you know in 10 days or 20 days or that a days or you know, it's going to happen this and then you gave and then you have been tithing and nothing is happening what do you do you get to a place you say hakuna mungu mungu ananikubaliaje so you get annoyed and you get anger but when you know the providence of god it helps you so that you don't uh, uh, become bitter become bitter because there is a possibility of us becoming bitter but because you know the providence of god bitterness is taken care of yani hakuna hakuna and i told you my own example there is a period that i almost got embarrassed here i had somebody dying imagine my sister dies muna nipeleka mazishi my niece dies muna nipeleka mazishi my nephew dies and i know some of you prayed a prayer like this kifo kiishe kiwache kwenda kwa bishop you know but as far as i'm concerned there was no element of witchcraft or nothing it was the act of god and the providence of god because the children whose parents died nimewapeleka shule so it's the providence of god for them you know it was bad for them but it turned out that now i take them to the school and i i'm not complaining about it at all So there are some things that will happen and when they happen because you know the providence of God you don't become bitter at all. You thank God. You bless the Lord. You behave like this preacher who was in London and they stole his briefcase. Then when they stole it and it ilibiwa kwa miguu yake. You know people think why is in Kenya too. He was kwa miguu. Alikuwa ameiweka vizuri lakini aliposizia kidogo briefcase yake iko. So when he wakes up and the briefcase is not there Instead of getting so bitter, he starts telling his neighbor, "You know what? I thank God so much. Why? Because I had something that can be stolen. Number two, I thank God so much. It is them that stole, not me. You know, some you turn the whole thing upside down and you you can bless God. And an event that should cause you to be bitter, instead of becoming bitter, you look around and you thank God. That thank God it happens." So this is clearly the message of Genesis 50:20. If ever any man had the right to get even it was Joseph. We get bitter because we doubt God's goodness and we don't see his invisible hand at work in our lives. We think God isn't involved in our situation and that's why we get angry and try to get even another person next to us. But Joseph tells his brother, "What you planned for me was evil. No doubt about it, but God was involved." and that's why i'm here to help you and i say the second thing implication we find in god's providence if we understand it is that providence gives us a new perspective on our tragedies perspective mpia i told you of this uh, rich man who who built a church one of our churches and and i, and I told you ukibarikiwa sana tujengee kanisa amen sio pesa nyingi ni milioni 200 tu So um, rich person by the way kuna mwingine ametujengea kanisa pale Kambo kwa sababu ya msichana wake wa kazi alipowaombea wakapona waka na alikuwa mshirika wetu pale Kambo 
amejea kanisa na akapaka rangi ya mawe i like those kind of people sio mshirika hajaokoka kini amejenga sio islamu anajenga so this guy anajenga build a very good church na pastor naye walisumbuana na pastor because pastor alitaka pesa zipitie mikononi mwake aone tu mimi sitaki ukitaka kujenga jenga unataka kujenga jenga we leta tu contractor amalize tufungue tuingie so anyway huyu jamaa kajenga na kwa sababu pastor hawakusikiza nipo maliza alienda anglican anglican ni church poa amen kwa hivyo alijenga akapaka rangi akatupatia funguo akaenda anglican lakini hiyo ni tajiri na hata sasa ni tajiri si niliwaambia biashara yake ilichomeka sana na wakamtafuta wakamlete ili wamshike asijiue kwa sababu it was worth millions and millions but you know for him he said no 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 let me see the smoke let me warm myself with it fire na akakaa tu kama wale watu wengine tu ikachomeka ikachomeka ikaanguka sasa akaulizwa we unataka kufanya nini atinifanye yule aliyenipa ile mali kwake store hajaniambia imeisha mimi nitakaa tu pale pale tu you remember i told you ukipewa 10000 kumi wacha kukimbia kwenu na kupiga ngoma tulia pale kwa sababu alipotoka zile kumi nikwambie ukweli kuna ishirini. so the, oh, what, but the problem of some of us tukipata kumi hey mpaka zikiisha ndio tena tunarudi eh hey, mungu si unaweza niongeza ingine tano no wonder when god wants to prosper us we don't why because kitu kadogo kana tu excite sana mpaka kakisha ndio tunarudi tena so provident gives us a proper perspective on our tragedies that i can look back and thank god for what has happened today i want to go to four things and then uh, some implication of god's providence four of them and then i'll be done number number three, providence gives us courage to keep going in hard times because god is there we know that he cares for us even when life is tumbling all around us all around us we could be weeping at times we could be in so we know sobbing at times but then in that sobbing what we need to know and what where we need to look to is god so that we have this courage to go through the hard times life is hard but god is good Psalms 115 Our God is in heaven and he does whatever pleases him God you're so fantastic Amen 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 You know kuna wengine hapa kama hukufutwa Najua sasa wengine wanasema bishop anataka tufutwe lakini kuna wengine hapa kweli tukisema kweli kama hawakufutwa hawangefanya ile kazi wanafanya Kwa sababu <laughs> permanent and pensionable inauaka mtu but if some of you can look at the pension abu the pension uiangalie tu ukae hapa ufike pension uulize mtu amepewa pension hiyo ni pesa ngapi na wengine mnapewa opportunity ya mshahara wako kupewa mara nne unasema hapana ngoja ni goje nitaka po retire nitakuja who wants a retiree you know some of us want to behave like You, you can do better when you retire no 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 some of you god anyway i'm not saying si semi ufute kazi because ukifuta kazi kama sio bwana utaumia na utalia but if god does it and he impresses on you please do what god tells you to do and you'll be blessed because god is there that's what god providence does for us it doesn't answer every question it doesn't make our problems go away It doesn't gives us an easy road but it does tell us that there is a pattern there is a direction that life is taking and it is designed by God and it is beautiful in God's eye so make no mistake about that that God is good God he is good hallelujah God is good courage courage you know i don't know whether you know the old people wanafika kama mahali kama kuna kuna jamaa mmoja alizika mama yake 
na mama yake alikuwa mia na alikuwa mia na mbili na yeye alikuwa 70 kini siju kama umeshasoma hiyo barua inakuwa hapa pale mwisho una hata unashangaa huyo amefikisha hiyo miaka lakini unajua he was she was a sister to the late the late the late the late a mother to the late the late the late a grandmother to some late some late some late baka unaona huyo Mungu ni warehema na neema nyingi sana sasa mtu kama huyo ukiongea naye anakuambia hivi jetere ile Jesu. Mimi namgoja. Ameona mambo mengi. Bwanake akafa, ndugu yake amekufa, dada yake amekufa, kaka yake amekufa, watoto wake wengine wamefariki. Na yeye mpaka anauliza Mungu utakuja lini? So that all things that happened. <laughs> Our, 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 late, our late mother who went to be with the Lord when our, my father in law was unwell do you know do you know hii maisha ni maisha ni mazuri sana maisha the way you take it life can be the way you take it my brother in law worked worked for Kenya Airways so you know what that means if your mother if your father if your wife you know kuna tu opportunity kwenda ni kama kulipa ngiri kumi unaenda Ulaya unarudi ngiri kumi tu lakini mama alikataa kwenda Mombasa kuingia ndege hataki sasa mzee amegonjeka ameenda Mombasa anaambiwa sasa si twende ukaone bwana yako hapo anasema eh inyu mko tadhie hii eh uh, ore mwadhani yakwenda na akeli ni dikiri mwadhani so my my father in law goes to be with the lord and then we think it was so surprising so we are, it is like we are all afraid to pass the message <laughs> ukikata kumwambia anything ajue baadaye atakuribuke kuza na kuuliza mimi ni hata kama ningekuweka ningefanya nini that is life you take it you you get because you know God and his providence it doesn't shake you bless the name of the lord anything that happens you have a way of thanking god for it and i'm talking to people here that you are so bitter in life you have blamed everybody that is blameable you have started by blaming your parents your school you went to hey, can you imagine the school you went to and the school you went to has no problem i know i'll tell people this I, i by the way i know it there is a sign in every school that says this way to the university every school hata hiyo ya kwenu inajaa vumbi kuna kamshale kameandika this way to the university sasa unalaumu una na kuna wengine walipata hiyo way wakaenda university kwa hiyo shule matopeni secondary and kwanza mixed secondary hiyo matopeni So you blame everybody that's why I'm not prospering why because my father did not take me to thee but in every school there is a sign that says Mangu High School even Cornerstone here kila darasa ninaonaga hiyo mshale Mangu High School Alliance High School Lenana Nairobi School hata hiyo Kabinga nzia secondary it is also there so it is you who decides what direction you are going <laughs> By the way we used to have a church called Evinganzia we changed it now we call it Evinguanzia because how can you lock the way open it let other people pass there so there is a sign actually i look at you and i see signs of prosperity signs of open doors signs of health signs of it's all over the place but you can blame people and you miss it fourthly Providence forces us to make a choice by faith. Providence forces us to make a choice by faith. The older I get, the more I understand that faith is a choice, not a feeling. Sinirudie tena. The older I get, and by the way I'm getting old, technology is what I use on my head nowadays so that I don't look 20th century 
<laughs> so the order I get, I understand that faith is a choice. Look at your neighbor, tell them, neighbor, faith is a choice. It's not a feeling. Oh, I went to church and I felt some faith. No, 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 no. Faith is a choice. And no wonder in church somebody gets his faith, mixes it with his, the word of God, and something happens while others wonder, Atinini, you will depart kwa church. Church yetu. Aikuepo, but it was there. But you did not take it because you are still waiting for feelings. So the older I get, that's what has come. So many times we won't feel like believing in God. But faith is a personal choice we make to believe that God, he, he is good. That he can be trusted in every situation. Faith rises above feelings to choose to believe even when the circumstance may argue against it. Amen? So the providence of God forces us to make a choice of faith. It has happened, but God. This is what is happening, but God. I'm not a politician, but, but politics is very interesting. Because politics depends with the situation that is happening. So that politicians will turn everything. And I also say politicians are good friends. You know, somebody made a comment, he said, Raira na Museveni wanapigana. Na Museveni si alienda kwa Raira? Eh, alienda. Alienda Musele, Museli. Alienda kuselebrate baba yake. Are they friends? Those are politicians. What they are giving you in the papers, forget it. Hai. Si Raira na Uhuru wanasalemianaga na wanapeana kifua na wanaitana dugu. Na moja akisimama hapa hapo akisimama na chapa yule mwingine. Wakikutana anasema niri kuchapa. <laughs> Those are politicians. So politicians are not Christians. You cannot hold them on anything. They will say this today, change, say this tomorrow, and then you wonder, Kwani, they are not Christians, they are not born again. They are looking for mileage. Akipata mali anaweza kukupanda juu, apate kitu atakukanyanga. Huyo anaitwa politician. You think Uhuru is safe? Ta Uhuru naye anatumia anything. Akiona kitu anagonga raira. Na wako pamoja tu, oh brother, my brother, unapeana kifua. Alafu wakisimama, alafu wakikutana na mbia, unawaja, sinili kugonga, ulisikia eh? Nita kugonga, natena wanambia, nita kugonga hata 2017. Nita kugonga, you know that's a kind of politician. But some of us, we can kill one another here. Hey, hapa. Nina washirika nilikuwa na hawako Kenya. Na wako hapa, na wakujagi kanisa hii sasa. Wali tutemberea mimi na alisi. Hatu kujua, mumoja ni relative ya keano. Na mwingine, anausiano na mativa. Sisi tumekaa tu wameingia, na siyaza za muranga zinaenderea. Hey, na walikuwa wamama. Siyaza ya wamama. We, hilikuwa moto wakuotea mbali. Baka unashindwa. If, in, 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 like you know the truth. Now those are politicians. Me, politicians, politicians, please, please, whatever they say, unaichukua na a pinch of salt. Providence forces us to make a choice by faith. Number five, providence helps us to understand why Jesus died. Do you know when you think about the death of Jesus Christ, you even wonder why is happening? But you listen to this story and I told you, it, it also shows us providence. Yes, undi anasema atakae nisaliti yuko nakuru yuko America. No, he says atakae nisaliti yuko hapa. Si Judas alikuwa pale. Na asha weka chapa kwa mfuko. Na anambio yuko pale. Haizitoshe, ujue kweli juda na alikuwa me, lazima angia maliza ministry yake ya kusaliti yesu. Anasema hivi. Yule atakae bo, mukate, atumbikise kwa hapa. Uyo, atanisaliti. Juda, nakuwa wakwanza kutumbuki. Hafu <laughs> yesu anamuambia, we, ende ukafanye. Go and do what you are supposed to do. 
Judas anatoka anaenda kufanya. Can you imagine? It's like I I do, do you get the picture? Judas goes. He tells them nataka mbusu ni yeye. Then he comes back. And then Jesus says, "Why are you why are you betraying me?" Anamwambia tena wewe kwani because he kissed him and then he asked the guys, "Mmekuja kutafuta nani? Mimi. Si ndio mimi?" If you look at that, that process then you would see Judas Judas was doing what was prophesied he just became the tool to finish it but was Judas condemned to hell I will tell you no he is the one who chose it because he would have done it and repented si Peter alimkana si Peter abas but you see providence is like that but so that when you understand that then you know why Jesus died then you don't get bitter wali mpiga Yesu wakamsulubisha Yesu you see if they never did that you and I would not be born again so that helps us to understand listen to the amazing words of the book of acts 2 verse 23 this is peter saying this man was handed over to you by god's set purpose and for knowledge and you with the help of wicked men put him to death by nailing him to the cross there you have both sides of the truth jesus died by god set purpose and for knowledge that tells us that the cross was not an accident it was not an afterthought in god's plan it was what god has designed hallelujah remember that peter is preaching to the men who participated in that evil you with the help of the wicked men put him to death his death was not an accident god foreordained it from the foundation of the world yet the men who crucified him were guilty of the most heinous crime in the human history they were morally guilty but what happened to jesus happened because god's divine plan to go through. I hope you can understand this that there are some things that are going to happen to you. If you think with this head utaguruka. Eh ukifikiria na hii utakuwa na kicha. Kwa sababu how come? Kaalio idhue, you know, kwa nini sisi tu? Ha kwetu wakiolewa wanarudi. Kwa nini kwetu tu? Si ukate. Uende uombe ukate hiyo kitu because you believe some things that are not true let me not get into that route i might keep you for too long god's providence leads us to jesus and jesus leads us back to the cross bless the name of the lord so it doesn't matter where you are i want to finish with this little poem that was written by somebody called overton He says this My father's way may turn and twist My heart may throb and ache But in my soul I'm glad I know he maketh no mistake My cherished plans may go astray My hopes may fade away Though night be dark and it seem that day will never break I know he makes no mistake My cherished plans I repeat again may go astray my hopes may fade away but I still I'll trust my my Lord to lead for he doth know the way Though night be dark and may seem that day will never break I will pin my faith my all in him he makes no mistake There's so much now I cannot see my eyes are far too dim but come what may I will simply trust and leave it all to him for by and by the mist will lift and plain it all he will make though all the way though dark to me he makes no mistake what a revelation that you can look at the situation and say he makes no mistake look at your neighbor tell them neighbor he makes 
no mistake. Tell him again, neighbor, he makes no mistake. I want to pray for some of you. We want to bring this sharing of prayer, divan, uh, prayer pr providence of God to a close. By praying. Remember we started by praying for those that had issues in the court and so on. And I know that you have testimonies about the goodness of the Lord. We also prayed for people that bitter and so on about life. Now we want to pray for every one of us that is in church today. And what I have said, actually, you are fighting with it. You feel like, Bishop, hapa, hapa iwezekani. You feel, no. You feel like, remember what I told you, that God, God helps us to walk by faith. He answers my prayer, not my arguments, not my doubts. He answers my prayer. And you find yourself in a situation where you, you almost feel Mungu amenisahau. You almost feel, no, it can't be. Every job I go for, nafutua. Every job I try, no vacancy, no that, no that. Maybe you need to sit back and go like Joseph and pray, God, now I want to be there at the right time. Because sometimes we drag ourselves. But if you are there at the right time, like Ruth, you reach at the time of harvest. You are there at the right time, boys. He marries you at the right time. You are like David. You are at the right time and you get to the garrison when the Philistines are coming. And at the right time, you carry the sling with the stones. And at the right time, you hit Goliath and it goes down. May God give you that right time. May God cause you to be timely. You don't get there earlier because if you do, then you miss the plan of God. If Joseph had gone earlier, he would have drained in that well. But thank God he went when it was dry. If Joseph had gone to Egypt earlier, he would not have landed in Potiphar because at that time Potiphar did not need a worker. But he went there when? At the right time. So Joseph is put at a prison when Kamete is jammed because he was working for a boss so that he can interpret a dream of a person who is very close to the heart of God. I know that you are here, my brother, my sister. What you are lacking is the timing. And you want to ask God, God, help me. Can where I am be at the right time? I want to pray for you. I want to ask the ministry team if you can walk, walk to the front and face the congregation. If you're there, my brother, my sister, you feel, mm. or maybe you even feel that was my word. And you want to agree with this someone that that which you have believed today, you'll add faith into it and your life will never be the same again. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I have a father. He calls me his own. He'll never leave me. No matter.
even time and began. My life was in His hand. He knows, He knows my name. He knows my name. He knows my every thought. And He knows my And he knows my every thought. And he sees, and he sees each tear that falls. And he hears me when I call. He knows, he knows my name. He knows my name. And he sees each tear that falls And he hears me when I call I will be still, know you are God I will be still, know you Ah, God, I will be still, I will be still, know you are God, I will be still, I will be still. know you are God. When the oceans rise and thunders roar, I will soar with you above the storm. Father, you are king over the flood. I will be God I'd be now and I Be still.
still know you are God. I will be still know you are God. When the oceans rise and thunders roll, I will soar in you above the storm. You are king. You are king over the flood. I will be still. I will be still. Oh!